Hi everyone. In this video, we will discuss about remote pilot aircraft system. We will learn about the classification of remote pilot system, general requirement, equipment requirement, and operational requirement for the remote pilot system. Remote pilot aircraft system manual number is DOC 1001 ANR. It is the manual on remotely piloted aircraft system, a guidance document for remotely pilot aircraft system which was published in 2015. Let's begin with the explanation on few important terms which are used in this video. Remotely pilot aircraft RPA is an unmanned aircraft which is piloted from a remote pilot station. A remotely pilot aircraft system includes a remotely piloted aircraft, remote pilot station, and command and control links. This is the system from where the remotely piloted aircraft is controlled. As a general principle, it functions in the same manner as the cockpit or flight deck of a manned aircraft and should therefore offer the remote pilot an equivalent capability to command or manage the flight. The trained and certified person who operates remotely piloted aircraft from the remotely piloted aircraft system is called operator. Unmanned aerial vehicles such as drones have presented a new form of convenience and flexibility for business across several industries and sectors. Geofencing is a virtual wall that restrict the movement of drones. It is done using a combination of technology like global positioning satellites, drones internal software, radio frequency identification, and Wi-Fi. Geofencing allows for stricter monitoring and prevention of aircraft flying into restricted areas or no flying zones. Certain areas are generally more unsafe than others to fly through and a virtual boundary is put up in these geographical areas. This helps drone steer clear of areas that are unsafe to travel through. For example, heavily populated areas, airports, schools, government land and property and prisons. Fencing of these areas also ensure that areas are kept free from any possible risk. One of the most important concept in drone operation is line of sight. Many of the current rules depends on whether a drone is being operated within line of sight or beyond line of sight. Visual line of sight operations are where the remote pilot maintains direct unaided visual contact with the remotely piloted aircraft. Command and control C2 link is the data link between the remotely piloted aircraft and the remote pilot station for the purpose of managing the flight. The link may be simplex or duplex. It may be in direct radio line of sight or beyond line of sight. An unmanned aerial vehicle which is popularly known as a drone or as a remotely piloted aircraft system is an aircraft without a human pilot. Today the use of drones has expanded massively in the civil and commercial sectors. The technology has found its way into almost every industrial sector from farming and archaeology to surveying, mining and energy industry. Remote pilot aircraft systems are planned to be an equal partner in the civil aviation system, which is able to interact with air traffic control and other aircraft on real time basis. International Civil Aviation Organization is working continuously to facilitate integration of remotely pilot aircraft system operating in accordance with instrument flight rules in controlled airspace and at controlled aerodromes. Categories of remote pilot aircraft. Civil remote pilot aircraft is categorized in accordance with maximum all of 
weight which also includes the payload the five categories are nano micro small medium and large nano remote pilot aircraft are which are having maximum all up weight including payload less than or equal to 250 grams micro which are having maximum all up weight greater than 250 grams and less than or equal to 2 kgs small are greater than 2 kg but less than or equal to 25 kgs medium remote pilot aircraft are greater than 25 kg but less than or equal to 150 kgs large remote pilot aircraft systems are having maximum all of weight greater than 150 kg now we will discuss about the general requirement of remote pilot aircraft every state can have their different guidelines due to security and other reasons but most of the guidelines are based on international principles and standards. Nano remote pilot aircraft operating below 15 meters need not to be registered and they can simply operate without any permission. If they are operated in an uncontrolled airspace or in an enclosed premises, micro, light, medium or heavy they need flying permissions from local law and administration authority. Unique identification number is remote pilot aircraft registration number. All remote pilot aircraft except nano needs to have unique identification number registered with civil aviation authority. Unmanned aircraft operator permit is required for light medium and heavy remote pilot aircraft system operator nano remote pilot aircraft can operate at a height of 15 meters micro remote pilot aircraft can operate at a height of 60 meters and other remote pilot aircraft light medium and heavy can operate at a height of 120 meters in case of accident or incident involved with remote pilot aircraft other than the nano remote pilot aircraft operators shall inform air safety directorate all remote pilot aircraft except nano shall be equipped with the serviceable components and equipments the first one is global navigation satellite system GNSS, which is required for horizontal and vertical position fixing. Then the other equipment is required is autonomous flight termination system or return home option, which is desired. Next equipment is flashing anti collision strobe lights. Then RFID and GSM SIM card compliant for application based real time tracking. Fire resistance identification plate inscribed with unique identification number which is allotted by civil aviation authority. Flight controller with flight data logging capability. It is desired for the record keeping of documented maintenance and inspection events highlights owner or operator responsibility for the airworthiness through systematic condition for safe flight determinations all light medium heavy remote pilot aircraft intending to operate in controlled airspace up to 120 meters which is 400 feet above ground level shall require additional equipment capabilities the first is SSR transponder mode C or S or ADSB out equipment. The second one is barometric equipment with capability for remote subscale setting. The third is geofencing capability. 
the fourth is detect and avoid capability operations requirement as per the civil aviation authority for remote pilot aircraft first irrespective of weight category all remote pilot aircraft operations shall be restricted to day only within visual line of sight second in visual meteorological conditions with a minimum ground visibility of 5 km and cloud ceiling not less than 1500 feet third surface winds of not more than 10 knots or as specified by the manufacturer fourth there should be no precipitation or thunderstorm activities all remote pilot aircraft operations except nano and micro category are required to file flight plan at least 24 hours before actual operations and obtain atc briefing mat briefing and atc clearance they should also obtain a defense clearance from the nearest defense unit they have to file their flight plans accordingly they will be allotted a flight information center number for their flight all remote pilot aircraft operators shall inform the concerned law enforcing agency in writing prior to commencing the operations operations requirement risk assessment by operator of remote pilot aircraft they have to identify hazard determination of severity and likelihood of hazard on the operation mitigation measures to reduce the risk identified and verification of mitigation actions of the remote pilot aircraft operations including that of launch or recovery site the site including emergency operation zone and any safety zone for the operations of remote pilot aircraft system shall be under the full control of the operator designated safe areas should be established by the remote pilot aircraft operator for emergency remote pilot aircraft holding and flight termination the takeoff and landing areas should be properly segregated from public access thus the remote pilot aircraft operator shall prepare standard operating procedure which shall contain following procedures according to the provisions contained in the relevant section of aeronautical information publication the first is take off and landing sops collision avoidance sop noise abatement sop flight plan filing sop local airspace restriction sop right of way as per annex 2 rules of the year sop communication which has to be established with other remote pilot aircraft system or with ats unit that sop remote pilot aircraft emergency including loss of c2 link and thereafter safe recovery of remote pilot aircraft through control airspace in case remote pilot aircraft system failure precludes the ability to remain outside control airspace so these many responsibilities have been assigned to the operator so that it should not become a threat to the civil flights which are carrying passengers a traffic radio telephony procedures for the remote pilot aircraft operations the remote pilot aircraft shall prefix remote pilot aircraft call sign with the word unmanned during voice communications between a traffic controller and the remote pilot station remote pilot aircraft operator shall also ensure that no radio frequency interference is caused to air traffic operations and air navigation equipment. For operations in the control airspace, the remote pilot shall establish and maintain contact with air traffic controller prior to entering the controlled airspace. All communications between remote pilot station and air traffic service unit shall be in prescribed International Civil Aviation Organization phraseology. No person shall act as a remote pilot for more than one remote pilot aircraft operations at a time. If two or more persons are available as remote pilots for a flight at a given moment, there shall be only one person who can act as a remote pilot in command.
rules of the year four pilot aircraft operator shall be responsible for ensuring that the remote pilot aircraft is operated safely and remains clear of all manned or unmanned air traffic terrain and obstacles remote pilot aircraft shall at all times give way to the manned aircraft remote pilot aircraft shall not discharge or drop substances unless specially cleared and mentioned in uaop remote pilot aircraft shall not transport any hazardous material such as explosives or animal or human payload remote pilot aircraft shall not be flown in a manner to cause danger to any person or property remote pilot aircraft operator shall be liable to ensure that privacy norms of any entity are not compromised in any manner in the event of cancellation of operations the operator shall notify the same to all appropriate authorities immediately remote pilot aircraft operations have certain restrictions no remote pilot aircraft shall be flown within a distance of 5 km from the perimeters of the airports no remote pilot aircraft shall be flown above the obstacle limitation surface or pans of surfaces whichever is lower of an operational aerodrome they should also not be flown within 2 km from the perimeter of strategic locations or vital installations they should also avoid eco sensitive zones which are established around national parks and wildlife sanctuaries they have to avoid temporary prohibited restricted and danger areas including tra and tsa which have been notified in a nautical information publication flight plan submission remote pilot aircraft operation who are required to submit flight plan shall comply with the provisions contained in in route 1.10 of nautical information publication flight plan shall be filed in ecow model flight plan format only uin of the remote pilot aircraft which is unique identification number shall be used as aircraft identification in item 7 of the flight plan additional information pertaining to remote pilot aircraft flights may be included under item 18 of the flight plan which are category of remote pilot aircraft system type of operation it is visual line of sight beyond visual line of sight or beyond radio line of sight name of operator and uaop number and the contact number of the remote pilot purpose of flight payload information autonomous flight termination capability geofencing capability detect and avoid capability air traffic services with respect to remote pilot aircraft operations air traffic service is not mandated to provide separation between manned and unmanned aircraft or between two unmanned aircraft remote pilot aircraft system operating in visual line of sight will be considered as vfr flights flight crew of manned ifr and vfr flight should be aware of the possibility of remote pilot aircraft flights below 400 feet above ground level and that atc may not be in position to provide specific traffic information about each unmanned aircraft operating below 400 feet above ground level remote pilot aircraft operations intending to operate their remote pilot aircraft equipped with ssr transponder in controlled air space are required to obtain ssr code from the nearest air traffic control center prior to the commencement of flight remote pilot aircraft shall switch off the transponder when required by the air traffic controller in order to avoid generation of alarms on airborne collision avoidance system and air traffic control system airspace
control zone and control area restructuring. Control zones and control areas are established near airports to protect IFR flight paths. Existing control zone in this picture is shown in blue color and the existing control area is shown in copper color. To accommodate remote pilot aircraft operation, a space needs to be released. For that, we need to restructure the existing control zone and control area. So, earlier, in most of the cases, the control zone's lateral limits were from aerodrome reference point to 25 nautical miles and it is now reduced to just 10 nautical miles, which is shown in green color. The vertical limits of control zones is reduced to 3000 feet or 4000 feet above the aerodrome elevation and thereafter it is rounded off to the nearest VFR level. So in this case, the control zone vertical limit is revised to 4500 feet. This released airspace is class J airspace for the remote pilot aircraft operations. Control areas are above and beyond control zones. It starts at 1000 feet above aerodrome elevation. So we have reached to the end of this session. Please share your views about this video in the comment section. Thanks for watching.